morning, everybody. It's Chris here from Screen Education. Um, just doing the analysis for the 8th of September. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, yeah, Sterling in front of me on our CTC strategy template. And wow, what a breakout this morning. Um, this coinciding with the um, news that's just been out for this pair, the Halifax um, figures. This has um, got to do with the uh, lending indicator for HS. The uh, HPR month on month figures. So, if the lending is great, then obviously that means people are buying or mortgages are being approved, etc., which means more people be investing. Um, and the figures were forecasted for negative 0.03% and they've come out at positive 0.2%. So, Sterling lapping, you know, jumping on that uh, on that news uh, forecast and, and um, riding it high this morning. Um, Let's have a look at what it says in the chart though. Well, you can see that yet again, pair has failed. Well, yesterday the pair failed to break even lower. Uh, subsequently, we're still in this um, in this negative trend, uh, being squeezed. Uh, and I mentioned yesterday, if the pair was able to find uh, support above this area here, then we could see further upside movement. And exactly that's what we're seeing this morning. So. It'll be if it carries on this way, then we'll see it test previous uh, highs, uh, which go coincide with the 50 period moving average and the 20 period acting as a resistance level here. You can see the little red line. Um, ideally, um, for this to be to remain um, uh, bullish, because we're still in a negative trend, mind you, we still got lower lower swings. You see that, um, and to to cancel this lower swing or this bearish. Um, uh, intermediate uh, trend we needed to close higher than all these mo moving averages for one but we need a nice bullish engulfing that, that covers all of this um, give us an indication that um, the, the the market sentiment is now uh, favoring the bullish upside so and then we'll we'll real ride that um, ultimately our first target would probably be here at just below 15.55 in that case and here are just above 1565 and ultimately uh, previous target way up here at 1600 so we could see a bit of a squeeze coming up shortly so just manage your positions quite well we might see a bit of a um, to and fro today there is other news out today um, we've got uh, manufacturing uh, for sterling we've got manufacturing products month and month at 930 GMT um, and then uh, in between that, at 11 o'clock, uh, GMT, uh, European uh, German industrial production figures, which they're expecting a, a lot higher than the previous um, forecast. So be aware of that. We, on a daily, we're coming up to some, some, some serious resistance here. Um, and I presume that'll be showing us um, that on an intra intraday time frame. So... You can see these beautiful breakouts if you've been trading. If you, if, if you looked at the market earlier this morning, you'll notice that on a five minute, if you're looking for an entry level, um, you'll notice that during the Asian market time, we were trading well above the 200 period moving average, which is great. However, uh, previous uh, high was being tested right through, and then just at the start of, uh, just before the start of Asian market, uh, sorry, European op market open. We, we, we've noticed that the, the pair was an upside squeeze so any upside squeeze would like to see a break of that um, our CTC strategy has confirmed that we're in a in, in a bull rally okay you can see we're getting higher swings um, now ideally what we want to do now is project uh, get a projection so this is the ultimate start of this trend we had a, a, a bull market or bull swing to start with then a consolidation uh, which happened overnight and during the Asian market and then another upside so let's have a look and see what the projection is going to be like for today uh, well for this particular move uh, and you can see straight away that 100% of this move here has been reached we are now well into overextended uh, trading uh, for this particular pair we might see it pull back um, and then retest uh, 161.18 uh, further up so she, she's definitely finding something to be happy about and she's definitely gone on to it and, and trading it so we're still in the bull run okay but just be aware of the possible pullback here uh, we've got highs here on an hourly uh, around around 40 uh, sorry 1548 coming up so back to that into your trades guys I'll be back soon